Welcome to ATB TV. I'm Darren Dance here at the Ballarat Turf Course with Peter Morganti on the famous hill track. Uh, barriers behind us, Pete. Um, I figure after a fortnight of the Spring Carnival, it's time that you and I had a serious jump out to get ourselves fit. 12, about 800 metres flat, Darren, although it's not flat. And then the last four to 500, probably 50 percent incline. You reckon you can handle it a couple of times? I could go up there, no worries. Um, <laughs> You probably don't want to go off scratch. You probably want to start at the 10 metre mark. Uh, 10. Just run the last 10. 110. 100. Oh, no. It's been a tough fortnight. Be, it has. I'll yeah. tell you what, it'll be uh, Wait. water and peas for the next seven days for me. <laughs> the last three or four days I've drank water. I felt a lot better than the previous seven or eight where water was mixed into what we were drinking. But uh, It's a marathon, isn't it, the uh, carnival? It's funny, it was... It took a while to get there and then it got there and it was just all five or six days just blended in together. Well, it's over a week since, you know, this time last week was Oaks Day. Yeah, that's right. Craig and Air ran second. Yeah, yeah. And Where did that go? Gone. Gone. Had, had the odd race meeting, the odd trials, the odd bookwork to, to get, catch up. Trying to get back on top. Anyway, yep. uh, let's go through the runners that... Uh, where yep. do we wind the clock back to? I went to Ara Cup Day on Sunday and we had Broadway in first uh, running the um, the China Bowl, which has been a great race there for years, and he ran third and ran a really good race. He Gate, did. Gate beaters. Probably. Yeah, well, it was a strong race. It's a, it's a good race. It was worth about 120000 to the winner mm. with all the Vobus bonuses. But, um, yeah, ran third, and uh, like you say, it was it was really just the barrier. Uh, they weren't making ground on that day. Yep. And uh, he was one of the few horses to make ground. And I think if he had a drawn somewhere yeah. in the middle, um, he, he may well have won that race. Yep. But, gee, he's going well, this prep, this horse. He seems to have gone to another level. Yeah. And you'd be thinking um, wherever he goes next, um, he's going to be very hard to beat. Across there could be it. Ballarat Cup day. There's a 1,400-metre benchmark 84, which looks a nice race for him. Yep. Beautiful. Bloodlet ran in, uh, on the same day. She was second up over a mile and... Uh, she probably had the same excuses, uh, although it wasn't her trip. She drew wide, got back and made some good ground, but, yeah, it was tough to win for where she was. But well, she's a stayer, was... second up, and we don't really expect her to do much no. to probably fourth up, Pete. But uh, to get that run under her belt and to finish off into sixth, I thought she's on track. Yeah, she certainly is. I think it was a 1,700 at Warnable in about 10 days, should, oh, 14 should days Should round time. her off nicely. Yeah, she won at Warnable, so... Uh, should round her off nicely. She's not winning... Start four, Pete. Don't get excited. <laughs> it's uh, Sunday, uh, same day at Benalla. Unfortunately, Tennessee Gold didn't uh, sort of live up to what we would hope. She ran ninth, but she had a few excuses. One being a um, well, throat infection of some description. Tongue over the bit, wasn't it? And that as well. Might have been a combination. Inflamed throat. Yeah. Normally caused by tongue over the bit. Yep. That's what happens when you get your tongue over the bit, Pete. When you have a gallop up here later and you get your tongue over the bit, I you'll probably get a sore throat too. I won't need the tongue over the bit to get a sore throat. Don't you'll have your tongue out. <laughs> but she... Um... If we had someone in here to video you and me running up there, I reckon we'd get 50 million views. <laughs> we might see what happens at the end of this program, Darren. We might run out of tape before we get to the hill, though. I'll tell you what, it'll, run, it'll take a long time to run out of shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, she would be slow going. This too, that sun's just decided to pop out. We've had about 50 mil of rain here in the last 24 hours, and now the sun's come out. Yeah. It's gone up 10 degrees, and I'm looking over there to the north uh, west, yeah. and it's as black as black. So uh, yeah. let's get on with this before we get wet. We've got about an eight, window, eight minute window, I reckon, Darren. Um, yeah, so she had excuses. and First up, yeah. too fat, tongue over the bit, pulled up the sore throat. Yeah. Uh, I'd want to see her going very well next time. Yeah. Artis uh, Bendigo, I've lost track of days. I think it was Tuesday I went up there. You did. He ran second over 2,400, first time out to the trip. Looked the winner. Which no got, match for the winner. Just got beaten by Matt Kamani. That American was uh, yeah. very impressive, that horse that won there. I think that horse could be an autumn derby horse, yep. the winner. Yep. Take him out of that and we win by three. Yeah, so. You know, um, our horse went good, Artisano. I think he's still a season away. Yep. But um, I was happy enough with the run because he beat the rest out of sight. But that winner is something you should put in your black box for the autumn. And I think Matt Kamani is looking at the South Australian derby with that horse. Yeah. So no disgrace running second to that horse. And I'm sure Artisan, if he gets the right conditions, the right race, he'll, he'll win a maiden. But I still think he's six months away. Yeah, no, I agree. There is a 2,300 metre race here, I think three days after the Cup Carnival. 
Uh, well, hopefully we can get a bit of give in the track. He can win it. And we can put him away and look him after little, him. Give him a little break. Yep. Uh, Connery it was uh, the race or two races later, and he should have won the race, Darren. He just uh, ran into a bit of traffic halfway down. No fault of anyone. So the tiring horse sort of got in our road, and he's got done a lip and a cigarette paper. Yeah, he's um, he's a horse we've got a bit of time for. He's by Piero, who's really going well. He stepped him up to a mile. And uh, as Jordan Charles tried to ease him out, he got pushed back in and he had to change direction and go to the inside. And as you said, he got beat a lip a lip. If he gets that opening, um, he wins by a length and um, it's just bad luck. So he's had probably two very close finishes yeah. and he could have easily won both those. And now he goes to the paddock. Um, credit to Archie for doing that. Yeah, a lot of trainers be uh, keep pushing on. push on and try and win that maiden and that's when you can wreck a horse. So anyway, he can come out and have the last month of the spring or what's left of the green grass, which is more now after we've had that 50 yeah, mil. Yeah. And um, he'll come back in. He'll be a good horse in the autumn and he yeah. might even get out over 2,200. Spoke to Geordie in the car park as much as he was worrying what you were thinking because he keep getting beaten. Um, he said exactly the same, that he feels like he get 2,000. No worries. So uh, plenty to look forward to with Connery. Patience. Patience. Bar come and say. Free, but no one used it. That's well, it. Not enough people used it. That's our runners, so... It's all, good... all around the money. So where do we go next? Yeah, we've got it... runners coming up. we go to Mewillam Bar, Darren. Be, be... Red Andal. Feels like Mewillam Bar weather here. Steamy oh. and hot. And God uh, knows what. 1,200 metres. Uh, going back, obviously, out to the country. and Trying to get a kill? Yeah, well... I think he's realised that 12's her go, a bit of pace on him. Her Not a lot of home. options, I don't think. No, I, mean, I think his hand was forced. Um, yep. I don't think there was a lot of races for Red Handle, right. so he's probably forced to go to Mwillam Bar. Well, it's not a bad thing if she can get a win. Yeah, well, it's either. I don't know what other options he had, but looking at the calendar, so... Yep. Probably, I don't think it's so much that he, he thinks she's a country horse. I, no. I just think there was no other options available, so... Anyway, look, she's get, you know, they'll all be going there, so it's probably yeah. the same field, you know. Yeah. You think you go in the bush and it's going to be easy, but it probably won't be. Strong field, uh, yeah. Because they're all going there for the same reason, so it's probably, you know, going to be, um, she'll be an each-way chance at the best. Yep, Matt McGrillvo, I think the jockey is. Yeah, he's riding good, that yep. young fella up there. Has been on it before. Um, <coughs> Sunday, I'll head to Donald, and we have our first our first starter in Penthouse Playboy, uh, over a mile. Uh, Darren, we were actually toyed with the mile in the 2,000 metre race, so obviously he's been trialling a bit, so he's got him fit enough, and he gave me the impression he was looking forward to seeing the race. So I've got a little clip here at the end of the day with Weary summarising a few of our horses. We'll show at the end of ATV TV, but he seems to have warmed to this horse each trial he's had. So, Well, he's an out-and-out -out stayer by mm. Pentire, um, so he's, he's a 2,400 metre yeah. horse, first up over a mile. Um, if he can beat three home, it's only a field of seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I oh, couldn't see him. Uh, couldn't see him winning. No, he was he was strong at the end of his trial. But I mean, seen plenty of where his horses trial up well and get belted. <laughs> I don't. That's don't, something, don't, you've, been, don't, that's something you've been telling me lately. Yeah, right? or well, plenty of any horses uh, trials mean nothing. Probably if you had a three or four guides, it'd be at the bottom of all the guides. <laughs> Unless you know what You've learnt your lesson there, haven't yeah. you? You stopped back and trial winners, <laughs> yeah. haven't you? Hey? That's... No, no notice of trials anymore. <laughs> learnt a lesson. No, yeah. look, this horse is in good order. He's a lovely, well-bred horse. Beautiful big horse. But yeah. he's just time. Yep. Time, time, time. And, you know, whether he's uh, ready this time, I don't know. But yeah, uh, first see. up over a mile, be interesting to have a look at him. We see, I think this prep, you know... He's certainly very well-bred. Yeah, for sure. Ransom money... I think I've drawn bookends, Darren. First and last oh, race. No. He's in the benchmark 64, 1620. That might be the key to him is out to the mile. Well, he's racing for his future, Pete. He he's drawn a, nine, too. A which... little bit of word around that he wasn't very genuine mm. last start. and I'm, I'm tipping it might have been the hard track, so yeah. hopefully with a bit of this rain about, yep. um, he gets a bit of cut in the ground and then he can turn his form around. But um, a lot of decisions will be made after this run. Yeah. No, for sure. And what are we, Thursday? If the rain hangs around for 24 hours, well, you're going to be on a track that's a five at least, probably. So it would suit him. The Chuka, we've got no fields or no definite acceptances, but we've got three that are potentially go there. We'll start with Himiji Jar over a mile. Um, and then we've got Michelle's... Uh, well, she'll be suited. Let's go through them one by time. We'll go one by time. So Himiji Jar, she'll be better suited at a Chuka than she was at Kilmore. Yep. That Kilmore track. 
Um, yeah. We're not accepting there anymore, Pete. <laughs> I don't mind not driving there. And, and Mornington. I think we take them off the list. Yeah, no, I'd be happy with both. No good. Gone. No good. No Dave good. Farron won't be happy. No good for... Mornington uh, lad. They're all right for Mornington and Cranbourne trained horses, but no good for us. Yeah. Uh, she'll be much better suited to the Chuka, mm-hmm. as long as the track's not too hard. But they would have had that rain that came through. Yeah. So, you know, it's... Maybe even and, a bit And I more. think there's a little bit of rain forecast for Monday, so... Yep. Anyway, um, you know, she's a rough each-way chance. Yeah, Condover Hall for Michelle, second start, the big master craftsman. Um, I'll be interested to see how this all pans out. Yeah, I've well, ridden. after first up, I've got no idea what to expect, but, um, yeah, he needs to... Uh, he probably needs to settle yeah. and travel better than what he did at Bendigo. Yeah. Um, he sort of got in amongst it and was left a bit flat-footed. Yeah. Um, and sometimes second up, they can be more flat-footed, but uh, he'll be fitter, he'll be a little bit more switched on, and hopefully he's ready to be racing. Any improvement there, Darren, will be Looking good. for some improvement. Yeah. And a horse on the comeback, or well, say comeback trial, but uh, she's had a few little injury niggles as our approach. First up over 14, and um, she's been trialling up, but Darren, we just said we've got to get to the races now and just get fitness into her. Yeah, well, she's a mare. Um, where, where, she won at Warnable last yeah. year by about eight or nine lengths. <laughs> uh, staying a... mare by new approach. Yes. So on her day, she's got a ton of ability, but she's not sound. Yeah. And we've had a lot of problems with her. But at the moment, uh, we've managed to get her to the stage where she's ready to get back to the races. And how far is that race, Pete? 14. 14, so she'll need that. Where he thought 14, a couple of 16s, and then 2000. So I reckon the old weir factor, your, fourth up. Your recipe, 2000, fourth up. So if fourth she holds up. together, we know she's got That's the ability over ready. that trip. Yep. yep. Um, and then the following day at Maui. Um, another first start. Another first start. A Mr. Moneybags, the written tycoon uh, gelding. I was going to say Colt for a minute. He's been nominated for a few, but we've missed Dunkel. We'll miss a Chuka and Murray's. Uh, Murray. Robbie, he's going to go to Maui with him. Robbie Griffiths, first up. Yep. Mr. Moneybags had a couple of trials. Yeah. Second trial was fairly good, yep. I thought. Yep. A horse that's got reasonable ability by the look of him. And, um, yeah, he goes to Maui there and should be really competitive, I, I would have thought. I would have thought, yeah. He's out of a good uh, running family, so I um, haven't seen him in the flesh, Pete. I'm, I hope to see him next week when I'm down at Cranbourne, mm-hmm. uh, just to see how fit he does look before his Maui assignment. But... Uh, We'll save that info for the owners on we race will. morning. but um, Hopefully Jai McNeil on, who's been riding well. Yeah, there's a good choice of riders to ride him down there, so I think um, I'm looking forward to that horse going around. Yeah, and back to those Echuca riders, obviously, we haven't sorted them out, but if Michelle will be on Condover Hall, I'll know that one, and we'll have probably choices between Yendel and Johnny Allen, Johnny Allen and all those. Yep, all good. So, so that's, that's our it. runners? That's it. I know Wednesdays we're back to Sandown and Thursdays no runners Mornington, which you've, no just, runners you've just banned Mornington, so no, we're not no out there. The strike rate at Mornington's no good. Yeah. I think if you look at Mornington, you find most of the winners there yeah. come out of Cranbourne and Mornington. Well, and Cranbourne's similar with their trainers, so it's a yep. bit of a home ground advantage there, so we can steer clear and find other tracks. Yep. Um, apart from that, not much more, Darren. We've got the Christmas party on the 3rd, which... It's... There's around, got a few coming. Around 160 have replied. If you haven't replied, you need to get your email back to Peter. Yep, we put the hammer on a few trainers to turn up, and they look like should be a good turn. day. Yeah. Should be a good day. Hopefully, it's not too hot, and hopefully, it's not too wet. We're not. We're pretty fussy. If I stay here too long, I'll be able to wear the Santa suit, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you, it'll be hanging off you. Yeah. Um, you got I suppose else? the other thing we should say is um, our couple's Tiberium yeah. has been confirmed to go to Hong Kong. Yep. Flies out on November 27th. Right out, yep. So uh, Manu's still down at Werribee with him, and Max Dynamite's going along for the ride. Right out, yep. Um, so you'll be heading over to Hong Kong, Pete, on uh, December 7th. Very grateful to be going, Darren. It's, and uh, represent us at the gala dinner. At the dinner, yeah. And uh, on race day at um, Sha Tin. So Half a dozen or Got quite owners. a few owners going over. Uh, Liz and I won't be. We'll be at home. We need to do some work, Pete. <laughs> Need to do some work. I've got so much on. But anyway, it's good for you to go over with them. The no, owners, some of the owners are going over. So it's a field of, uh, I think it's only a field of 13. Yeah. And I see he's about $10 in the early markets. We, we won't. I, th- I think his chances there. Um, without stating the obvious, that he needs to draw a good gate and, draw get a, get a, and get a better ride. <laughs> but I think it depends on the, what Japanese horses end up accepting yeah. for what he's, you know, whether he's really got a chance. But um, I'm sure. You know, he's going to run in the first four or five yeah. um, if he's held his form 
which yeah. he seems to have in work. But I'm going to go down next morning, uh, next week, one morning, and have a look at him work and get some fresh vision some of him. Bit of footage of him, yeah. And just see how he looks now after that cup run. I know his weight's about the same now as what it was pre-cup. Righto, yeah. And he's come through the run really good, so. Excellent. That's another step. You got nothing? No. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. just sitting here listening. I'm taking it all in. I'm Actually, I was on the plane to Hong Kong already. Yeah, you were thinking about Hong Kong, weren't you? <laughs> on the plane already. So we are looking, um, obviously we're now looking towards Melbourne Cup for 2018. Um, got a couple of ideas there. Yep. Um, seriously, we're, we are looking for another international with a similar profile to Tiberian. And uh, we've been inundated with requests to get involved. I'm also going to have another look around um, for what I call a work in progress horse, a horse that I can buy that's sort of got that right staying profile and um, mightn't be fully exposed yet, so therefore the, the price will be a lot lower. Is that a yogi type of yeah, profile? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, something that may or may not, you know, may or won't have done a lot yet, but it's certainly yep. got the pedigree and, and, and something to be trained in Australia and, and to be really set for the Cups yep. over the next... You know, it mightn't be for 2018, it might no. be for 2019 or even beyond, but um, I think we need to find a, a sort of horse in that, in that, of that calibre. Yep. So I've got a couple of ideas there. So we'll keep you up to date in with suspense. all that. In suspense, yeah. Until we see what we that'll can get, land. That'll get more emails coming in. Put me on that All list. emails to Peter Morganti. Yeah, He's on the, the only list. one that can collate it, I can't. Better claim your inbox has. There's about 20,000 in there, Darren. <laughs> Jeez, they add up. Don't they? Mm. Well... Um, no. that's about all we got. That's all I've got. Yep. Can't pick the kid up from school. You go and do your duties. Now, um, a little bit of banter on Twitter, Pete. Um, I think that's, <laughs> we should show you a little uh, list here of your son, Jonah. How old is he? Jonah's 10, going on 20, by the... So he made yeah. a little Santa list and mm -hmm. um, left it on the table and went to bed. He put it strategically at a place where, obviously, back and myself could read it. He's gone to bed. What was number one on the list, Pete? I can't remember because number 16 threw me way out the window. What was number 16 on his list? 10% in a horse. 10% in a racehorse. 10% <laughs> in a racehorse. Now, you made the fatal mistake of putting that on Twitter. Yeah, and it went mad. And you've got a bit of feedback. I have. I've like, been... if you don't deliver on 16, you're the worst dad in the world? Yes. <laughs> and Alfred shares in horses by the likes of Mick Sharkey and people. <laughs> so it's got a lot of... Uh, it's commanded a lot of attention. Um... Now, in all seriousness, Pete, <laughs> I'm really concerned for your son's future What's welfare. <laughs> he wants to buy a horse at 10. 10. What hope has he ever got of buying a house? Well, we might have someone to take over the business, Darren, <laughs> in about 15 years' time. We've ruined him. Yeah, uh, and, well, Marley's not much better. No, now you're working on her. Yeah, so uh, we might have the, the syndicator and the and the jockey <laughs> all going together as brother and sister. Oh, but, dear, very funny. So very I don't funny. know, he can have 10% of me slow ones already. So we might... We might... <laughs> We might um just you got the copy of that list yeah, here. Well, Here's his top sixteen. It, Have a look at this. This for a ten year old, it's unbelievable. Anyway, until next week, I'm Darren Dance here with Peter Morgandy. Have a great week. And we'll just roll with Weary to finish it off. We've got Darren Weary here. Weary, we'll just go through our last half a dozen runners and a couple coming up on the weekend. Just uh, quickly, Captain Harry uh, turned him around with the blinkers. Yep, went a lot better. Um, beaten by a really nice horse too. Yeah. Um, so I think that form will really stand up and um, wherever he goes next, he's going to be competitive for sure. Good sign. as a margin back to third too. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, Broadway first here at Arrow. We're at the Arrow Trials. He was terrific in that... Um, the China Bowl with not a lot of luck from the gate. Yeah, had he drawn a gate, he probably wins the race. Yep. Um, thought he ran well first up, trained on nicely, um, yep. in for another good prep. Beautiful. Um, Bloodluck, she was here as well, obviously second up over the mile, and from the gate we went back, it was hard to make round, but she was good enough to she, the line? She was good enough, yeah. I instructed Dean to follow my other horse, <laughs> and he followed it to the 600, then he elected to go around and thinking that there wasn't any room yeah. through them. Johnny rode through them and won the race. Had he... Had he followed him through, she would have finished a lot closer, closer yeah. but it was a pass mark going forward. Yeah, well, she started the mile, you reckon? Oh, there's a 17 at Warnable. Yeah, something? 17 at Warnable. Just get her up to 2,000 pretty quick. No worries. Uh, Tennessee Gold, she went to uh, Benalla, I think it was, and she just pulled well, up with a few little issues. Yeah, well below par, well, yeah. well below expectations, because we thought she'd go there and be hard to beat, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Um, Talking to Darren Murphy, who walked the track, said the track was very firm, yep. so maybe she didn't like that, and um, made a bit of a gurgling yeah. noise after it, but we've scoped her and there's nothing 
Major. Nothing major. No. So hopefully she hasn't jarred up. Yeah. But, um, she seems fine now. Yeah. So hopefully we can just put that one behind us and um, get back to how she trialled before that. No worries. And Artie Sano, who Benny go yesterday, he was good, just found one better. Yep, found one better on the day. Um, yeah, I thought he, he ran well. He's racing really honest. Yeah. Um, he still just doesn't know how to really attack the line yet, but he's yeah. getting better. So there's a... 2300 metre coming up at Ballarat, perfect yeah. race ring. Excellent. Uh, just going forward, Sunday we've got uh, Ransom Money over a mile. He, he's just been sort of so so the last two. Ran okay without being brilliant. Yeah, um, has been a bit. So hopefully, um, you know, be a bit more positive for Donald. Get yep. up on the speed and um, hopefully he gets back to that maiden win. Yep. And also we got Penthouse Playboy who has been kicking around the trials. Obviously you've been looking to get him fit enough to kick off over a mile. Yep. I'm looking forward to seeing him run actually. He's great in the action. He's yep. a very fit horse. You know, nearly could have started him over a bit further but yeah. I thought a mile and then go straight to 2,000. Yep. Um, I'm not sure whether he can win but I reckon he'll be running through the line pretty well. Right. And just a couple others. We had our approach trial here and you're happy to kick her off over 1,400 somewhere suitable. Yeah, soon. our approach is obviously coming back from the tendon injury so look she needs racing she's unfortunately um her best distance is 2000 meters yeah. but when they're coming back from the injury they need the the, the shorter trip runs and yep. build up to a 2000 so she'll go 1400 a mile maybe two at the mile yep. and then fourth up over 2000 and then she'll start coming into her own unfortunately early i think she'll struggle to, to yeah. win one of them but as long as she's running through the line well and pulling up well that's the main thing excellent and just going a bit further forward pk obviously been racing very well uh maybe the blinkers on for his next run whether that's ballarat cup day or not not 100 yep. sure yet not, not sure where we're going but he's going really well that horse um yep. he ran great the other night um blinkers on next start hopefully he can find a length or two and um he's going to win a nice little race terrific thanks very well done with uh toss and stardom that was a you don't see a win like that very often when they yeah. uh, burst to the front, but yeah, you've had a, another good spring. You would have yeah. been happy? Yeah, I was happy with the spring. Um, yep, they yeah, got a winner each day over the carnival. Yep. And um, Mooney Valley and Caulfield as well. Um, you know, a little, little bit unlucky in a few races yeah. too. Those, those little jockeys, they're costly at times. I remember one yeah. there earlier in the day at Flemington on Saturday. Yeah, no, I was, to be honest, <laughs> you know, overall, I, I, don't, I didn't think they rode that well. Yeah. But um, they, they rode well in some races, but... This is the time of the year they need to be really riding well yeah. because it's where the big money is, you know, and um, unfortunately we're a little unlucky, but that's not only me. No. Everyone, everyone has these stories. I certainly remember these races where they ride bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. Weary, thanks for your time and uh, yeah, good luck over the weekend. No worries. Thanks, Morgs.